Here is the last man standing. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. I'm not going to die. <laughs> this is not the day, really. No. I'm not that weak. Who told you? Who the pool pool told you I'm going to die? Oh. I'm here to live, man. Living is my share of life. Dying is not. That's for gods up there to decide, and I would never know when does that happen. I would never know. I just wonder, you know, uh, we are so sophisticated, so modern, so learned. I understand that. I simply do not understand you. Uh, what was happening around? People are so messed up. With all their sophistication, science, technology, everything that would be that that we couldn't, you know, that we did not imagine it, is at your disposal. But still, yes. you know, I feel so happy in this classroom since morning. I've been listening patiently and, you know, so intensely. Why? Because we were so true to ourselves. But the question that that pops up in my mind is: Are we equally <coughs> happy? Are, are we equally engrossed in our learning and understanding of life? Because for me, it was no less than a learning process, an intense learning process of putting your life experiences together. It was so, you know, uh, there was that breather of uh, from our Pandeep that was so wonderful, really. That was the only, you know, uh, what's it called, that kind of relief from the intense thinking that we have been doing since morning. It was so wonderful, but you know, I'm a student of literature and I'm, I'm, I'm you know deep rooted in classics. Although I wear my pants and shirts and trousers, I may be modern at times, but I'm mentally I'm still stuck with the classics. I'm still stuck in 16th, 17th century. I'm still trying to understand myself. I'm still trying to understand the phenomena called life. Um, for, for living, I don't care much. I don't care much for living because I'm still stuck with that. Life. Why do I say that we have messed it? I have. I'm not talking about all of you, but I feel like I have messed it up. Where did I mess it up? You know, in Bible there's a there's a there's a concept that when they say God made man in His own image. Now the question is: Is this what a God is supposed to do? Is this the way we are supposed to behave if we are in the if he created in us in his own image? And do I look like the viceroy of God will? I'm not able to understand myself. I just wonder, you know, what how, when do I see myself? I have messed it up. It's like I have started, you know, believing in behaving more like a god. There are a couple of things, God and man, and then there is one more, godly man, I'm not going to talk about him as well. I want to talk about this man-god. Every man in himself believes that he is the God. <laughs> and believes that he is going to do everything that is there. He believes that he is going to set everything right. Without understanding that while setting the exteriors right, he is internally messed up. You know, life is, I, I understand, if I'm asked to, you know, say what life is all about, I'm not a philosopher, but in my own understanding, I have understood that life is nothing, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle. You live from struggle to struggle. And I understand grand struggles have grand rewards. The best you can do as a man is put in a grand struggle and grand struggles I say will get grand rewards now you would ask me to be tangible what's my grand reward I've been struggling so hard so far where is the grand reward the problem with the modern man is he keeps his eyes fixed on the goal without watching out his steps without caring for the way 
without caring for the road itself, the journey itself. Do you think the journey, the beautiful journey called life, is any less a reward? No. Yeah. No. I'm so thankful to God that He has given me this wonderful life. I'm so happy. And I, I in a way, have been able to, you know, draw that thin line where I have ceased to be a God and where I see that I'm a human being is the best thing I can do is the best thing I can do is put in my best efforts squeeze myself to the last drop without bothering for the results for these results are not mine that's not my domain that's not my part of duty that's for them to do all I can do is put in my best put in my best tu khuda hai na mera ishq farishtu jaisa you are not a god i am not an angel dono insaan hai to kyun itne hijabon mein mile we are both human why put on so many masks why put on so many curtains why can't we simply open up our heart and speak yeah. reveal our true self look at each other with love empathy sympathy kindness you're not going to be here forever i'm not going to die we are not going to be here forever but we are not going to die we are immortal i strongly believe we are immortal you may think what were you before you were born were you there no and why do you think that you will vanish once you are gone from this earth you're not going to go anywhere you're going to be there you are immortal so don't believe that you are going to die nowhere never are you going to die i just want because i'm running out of time i just want to make a small prayer i pray to god i tell him god give me patience to bear the things that i cannot change give me courage to bear the things that i cannot change and give me strength to change the things that i can and above all i beg with him to give me the little wisdom that makes me to make the difference between the two where is it that i can change and where is it that i have to bear and that may make my life a little sweeter thank you very much